Welcome to St. Andrews Institute of Technology and Management. This college is affiliated to Maharshi Dayanand University, Rohtak, and approved by All India Council for Technical Education. This video lecture is a part of series developed for online classes. Hello everyone. My name is Ashish Tripathi and I am working as an assistant professor at St. Andrews Institute of Technology and Management since 2015. My areas of interest are data analysis and data visualization, which are recommended to be a data scientist. Welcome to Object Technologies and Programming using Java. So today let me introduce you with the programming paradigm of Unit 1 of this course. Whenever a problem is being given to you, you always need to find a solution for that problem. You can either opt for top-down or bottom-up approach. This seems to be a programming paradigm. Hence, programming paradigm refers to the way how a program is written in order to solve a problem. It refers to the approach for developing program in order to solve a given problem. This is also known as programming methodology as it describes the structure of a program. In top-down approach, the program is segregated into smaller units so as to reduce the complexity and increase the efficiency of the system. In bottom-up approach, individual units are prepared which are independent with each other. These are then merged together to make up the complete program. There are different types of paradigms available, likewise unstructured programming paradigm. In this, all the instructions are written one after the other in a single function. So it is only suitable for a small programs. Likewise, if you are just coding out a small program of adding two numbers, you can always go for the unstructured programming paradigm. Whereas in the structured programming paradigm, the problem is to be solved is broken down into small tasks which is written independently. Likewise, there are two types of structured programming paradigm that is process oriented and modular programming. Object oriented paradigm refers to the latest way of solving a problem. In this, a program is being considered as a collection of data and functions. These data is being acted upon by the functions and the data controls the access to the code. Okay, so let us study about the unstructured programming paradigm. In this, all the instructions are written one after the other in a predefined fashion. The program is executed one by one and the instructions are being declared. For example, here is a program for adding of two numbers. First, we need to declare the three variables, then we assign the values to any of two of them. Perform the addition of these two variables and assign the result to the third variable. The third variable is being displayed to the user. The instructions are executed one after the other, so machine has the supremacy to execute the code. The user can't control the code. First, we take three numbers x, y, and z. Then we assign values to x and y, that is x equal to 5 and y equal to 10. Next, we perform the addition of x and y variables and assign them into c. And in the last, we display the result z 
with the help of system dot out dot print ln statement. Procedure oriented programming is a way in which large programs are broken down into a set of instructions called functions. A call is made to each function and after executing all of them the program ends. Some of the characteristics of procedure oriented programming are it mainly focuses on the algorithm. Do you know what is algorithm? It is a step by step solution of a problem. Here a program is divided into small functions called routines, subroutines or methods. These functions share global data among them. Hence data openly moves between the function calls and lacks security. Each function transforms data and do the calculation. It follows top down approach. For example, when writing a program for a calculator we divide it into small functions like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and so on. Our main function does the work of passing input parameters to these functions and getting the result. In this way, procedure oriented programming solves the problem of writing the complex programs. But there is still some drawbacks like data security. Modular programming paradigm. It is also a subset of substructured programming paradigm in which the program is broken down into small modules which are independent units and are assigned a specific task. These modules are finally integrated to make the complete program. This approach makes the program shorter as the module of one program can be reused in another program without any change. This is an example of a structured programming paradigm. In this, we have created a function named add, which is receiving two parameters of integer type x and y. It is doing the addition of these two variables and storing the result in the variable z. Later on, it is printing the result on the screen. This function is being called by Another function which is known as the main function. Always a program starts from the main function. So in the main function we are entering two numbers from the user A and B. Then we are simply passing these two variables in the form of parameters to the function add so that the add function can perform the result and display it also. Next paradigm is object oriented paradigm. In this the program is modularized as a set of data and functions. Some of its characteristics are emphasis is on data rather than on functions. That is the program is executed according to the data provided by the user and not in the predefined manner. Here program is divided into set of entities called objects which have special powers. Data is hidden and can only be acted by functions defined for it. This adds to the data security. Moreover, an object can communicate with other objects making an interactive environment. This paradigm follows bottom-up approach. Among all these paradigms, it is totally up to the user which approach he can use as the solution of the problem.
This is an example of object oriented paradigm. In this, we declare a class called addition having x and y as its data members. We also declare two member functions known as setWare and add. In the setWare, we are assigning the values of x and y which has been passed as a parameter to a and b. Finally, in the add function, we are just performing a result of the operation addition on x and y and displaying the result. This class is being instantiated in the class demo under the section main with the line addition sum equal to new addition. After that, we call the function set var and add respectively from this main function. In this, we save the file with the name demo.java and then finally execute it. The execution begins from the main function and it creates an object to the addition class. Then it calls the respective functions and display the result. This is an example of object oriented paradigm. It adds to the data security and efficiency of the program. The data is being wrapped inside the class and it only accessible through the functions defined inside the class. Okay, coming to the end of this session, I leave you with some assignment as well. My first question is, what is programming paradigm? My next question is, what is the difference between procedure oriented paradigm and object oriented paradigm? Thanks for watching my video. If anyone has a query on this, please let me know through the number flashing on the screen. Hope to see you all in my next video on basic concepts of object-oriented programming.